Once she is placed in the back seat of the patrol car, the officers appear to celebrate with a fist bump. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Two male pussy cops attack this innocent woman and beat her. Look at her. Look at her. It makes no damn sense. It really don't. It is shocking surveillance video. A 34-year-old woman pulled over for a cell phone violation is slammed to the ground by two LAPD officers not once but twice for allegedly resisting arrest. Once she is placed in the back seat of the patrol car, the officers appear to celebrate with a fist bump. After arguing for a little while, the lady got out of the car and there was still some more, you know, arguing going on. Jordan's husband told NBC4 his wife was swearing at the officers, but both he and Branch say what happened next was excessive use of force. Then she turned around to get back in her car. The police officers jumped on her and knocked her down to the ground, uh, shoved her arms up behind her back and handcuffed her. When the swearing continued, she was thrown to the ground a second time while handcuffed. The whole incident was captured on camera at this Del Taco in Tahunga on August 21st, but Chief Charlie Beck says he was made aware of it only yesterday. I viewed the video. I immediately removed the officers from the field. I assigned one of them to home. The woman in the video was Michelle Jordan of Sunland. The registered nurse suffered contusions to her face and body. The chief has already called for a criminal and administrative investigation with internal affairs. And tonight there is more fallout. The chief removed Captain Joseph Hiltner as commanding officer of the Foothills Division, critical of the 34-year LAPD veteran's handling of the case. The captain of, of Foothill uh, was deficient in, in uh, notifying his boss and me uh, about the about this occurrence, even though he initiated a personnel complaint. Uh, he also did not relieve the officers from field duties. Hiltner faces a demotion, and the chief says the two officers seen on this video will also be held accountable for their actions. One officer has only 10 months on the job. The other is a 22-year veteran, and sources tell Eyewitness News that officer was a bystander during the Rodney King beating and was suspended for 15 days as a rookie officer back in 1991. Chief Beck would not comment on that. Michelle, look at me. A cop assaulted me. I sued the shit out their asses. You hear me, Michelle? Make sure these pussies are out of a job. Oh, I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. Guess what? I love you all. Peace.